All right, here with associate head coach Rich Miano talking about the Warriors secondary. Um, you know, last year the UH defense led the NCAA in takeaways, a secondary, a big part of that. Same expectations this year? Well, you know, you have to be careful of uh, that is one of our goals, and we feel very strongly about the athletes we have. But, you know, to do something to lead the nation in anything is not an easy feat, but we're going to try to take that ball away. We're going to get as many turnovers. We want to give the ball back to our offense as much as possible because obviously as prolific as they are, it's going to help them score points. It's going to help us win games. Well, it seems you guys have been tooling around with different combinations out there uh, during fall camp, and it, it seems just recently you guys kind of have locked in on the personnel that you'll be, will be seeing on the field, huh? Yeah, it's taken us, you know, 10, 12 practices, but uh, we feel real comfortable with uh, Mike Edwards at one of the corners, Tank Hopkins at the other, John Hardy at free safety, and then Richard Torres at strong safety. So, you know, we still run a nickel package with five DBs, and we have a dime with six and a dollar with seven. So there's still some shuffling to be done, and uh, there's still some guys fighting for not only special teams, but to be backups and to travel and to take a shower and to play in the game. You know, you lost uh, a big veteran in Mana Silva last year. Demetrius uh, Davis is gone. But it must help to have a, a, someone as tough and as experienced as Richard Torres leading you guys back there. Richard's our leader. He may be the best leader I've had in 13 years. Uh, definitely on the field, off the field. He's been elected captain by his teammates. He's just, and he does everything well as, uh, as, as, as well. So we're very pleased to have him as our leader. Obviously, le losing Mana in eight interceptions is uh, going to be hard to replace, but we really feel John Hardy will go to the football. Whether he'll get eight interceptions remains to be seen, but uh, he's a heck of an athlete. So Mana, Lemetrius, and uh, Jeremy Bryant, we're all seniors. We've got three uh, sets of shoes to fill, and they're big shoes, but we really feel like we're more athletic. Uh, hopefully we're smarter, we're better technicians, and uh, we can take it to an even better level. You know, one guy that everyone's excited about is uh, Mike Edwards, obviously a blue chip recruit coming out of high school. He's transferred here. Um, is he as good as advertised? He is, and uh, sometimes it's hard to live up to the hype. And. Uh, Mike has uh, really made a lot of plays, and he has the ability to return kicks and possibly punts for us in the future. But I think what he gives us is the competitiveness. He just refuses to be beat, and when he is beat, he's disappointed. He uh, has that mentality of a, a, almost not cocky, but he's very confident, and he's very competitive, and uh, he just hates to lose. And so he's going to bring a lot of great things to our secondary. Another guy you mentioned, Tank Hopkins, he was out. Uh, all of last year, how does he look uh, so far? Tank, you know, has timed as the fastest guy on our team, and I think last year being out uh, really helped him become more of a coach, really understand what we're doing defensively, and now he's a leader. You know, he got the fifth most votes for captain, and I think it's because his off season, he stayed here the whole summer. He's really dedicate, dedicated himself to being a fine football player, and he, again, we've got really good corners, and those two lead the way for us. Any newcomers or red shirts that we should be looking out for this year? You know who's been a very pleasant surprise is Mike Sellers, who gray shirted for us last year, and so he's got five more years to play for the Warriors, but he's playing some quarter for us and some cornerback position, and uh, he's really made some leaps and strides, and he's a good football player, And but there's a lot of guys. This is the most competitive training camp we've ever had. I think we look physically better than we've ever looked, and that the competition has been, uh, it's never been greater. What excites you most about this unit going into the opener against Colorado? Well, it ex excites me because I think they're very athletic. I think they're smart. I think they understand that last year's group was successful because of their work ethic, not because of their talent. So if you can combine the talent of this year with the work ethic of last year, I think we have a chance to be a special group. And I'm really excited about not just the back end, but the linebackers, the leadership of Corey and uh, Aaron, of course, the front four with uh, Vaughn and Connie and uh, Pai Pai stepping it up. So we have a chance to be a special defense, but, uh, and they know it's up to them. And they got to put in the extra work, and I think we have the intangibles to uh, to be be proud of uh, this defense this year.